Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to load almost any Super 8 camera ever. Now you guys know I love Super 8, right? I love Super 8. But for people who have just never shot Super 8, handled Super 8 film, seen Super 8 film projected, the format is a bit of a mystery, but it's one that is still around today for you to be able to start shooting now. So today I just want to talk about how exactly to get those cameras up and running by properly loading your film. Now spoiler alert, if you know nothing about Super 8 film, it is really, really easy. There are hundreds of Super 8 cameras in existence. And today when I'm talking about loading these cameras, I'm gonna show you how to load a variety of these cameras in case you come across weird ones and strange ones and just, well, any of them. But um, first, let's start with the film. So these are uh, boxes of Super 8 film. When you buy Super 8 film, this is what you get this mysterious little box of film. And on the outside, it will tell you exactly what it is. This is a modern box of 50D Kodak color negative Super 8 film. They're both the same size, they both say Kodak on them, they both will tell you what kind of film is inside of them, and they both say 50 feet. So as I've talked about before, Super 8 film comes in cartridges of 50 feet worth of film. So as we open up our brand new roll of Super 8 film, you will first be faced with a nice little sealed white envelope. Now this is sealed up nice and tight, but don't worry, you can open this in broad daylight because Super 8 film is contained inside of a safe cartridge, which means that you can handle it in any situation. So as we rip it open, we have our cartridge of Super 8 film fresh from the box. And this is sealed up nice and tight, so all the film is inside of there, 50 feet in order for you to pop it into your camera and go. I don't wanna waste too much film that I still haven't shot, so I'm gonna use an old school pack of expired dead Kodachrome film, just in order to show you guys how these cartridges pop into these cameras. So let's break it down into about three different types of Super 8 cameras. There are your standard cameras that just pop open from the side here. There are your standard sound Super 8 cameras that also pop open from the side. Now as an important side note, Super 8 sound film no longer exists. It was a type of their film that they created in the late 70s into the 80s and they were all used with these Super 8 sound cameras. I'm gonna talk about that a lot more in the future. But these Super 8 sound cameras are still good to use but you can't actually record the sound onto your film anymore. Anymore. And there are these Super 8 cameras that are standard as well, but they load from the back of the camera as opposed to the side of the camera. So if we take our standard Super 8 camera here, then we can pop open the film door compartment on the side of it. And this is what we're faced with. This is the film compartment has a little spinning motor here that you wanna make sure works when you put batteries in and you hold down the trigger. So then you can see the actual motor run, which would move the film through the camera. Then all you have to do is just take your cartridge of Super 8 film and pop it into the camera like this. You kind of put the front in first and then the back kind of pops in and it just sits there perfectly. And that's really how you load just a standard Super 8 camera. Then you can run the camera and move the film through. And if you're ever concerned that the film is not running through the camera properly, then you can actually pop it out first. Just take a marker and then dot the front of your film. Then as you actually run the camera, for a couple of seconds, just only losing a little bit of film. It's precious, but it's worth it to know that it's working properly. Pop the cartridge back out of the camera, and as long as the mark that you put on the front of the film is gone, that means that the camera is moving that film through the cartridge perfectly. That's really what you're gonna encounter when you're shooting a lot of these standard Super 8 cameras. They open from the side, they just pop in and they sit there really securely. They shouldn't move around too much or anything and then you're ready to shoot on the. Next up we have our side loading sound Super 8 cameras. So sound cameras had extra components that would record onto a magnetic soundtrack on the film cartridge. These cartridges were special. They were taller than the normal Super 8 cartridges and they fit into these compartments a little bit differently. 
but these cameras are still usable with normal Super 8 film. So if we open this up, you'll see that we have a larger film compartment inside of the camera and it has an added little area down at the bottom, which is a magnetic recording head on the film compartment. Now this is in comparison to the regular Super 8 film compartment, which is shorter and does not have that magnetic soundtrack area at the bottom of the film compartment. But normal ones now, you don't have to worry about that. They just have to sit properly in again, just like the other one. You don't have to worry that nothing is covering this bottom area because that's just obsolete technology. Don't worry about it as you load your camera in. And again, it just closes up, you close the door and you're ready to go. And it's just that easy to load up and use Super 8 film. You're not gonna have to worry about any weird complex threading on any of these Super 8 cameras that you're just gonna find and pick up to use. Because it was kind of the ultimate amateur format, all you had to do is pop in those cartridges and you don't have to worry about anything else. Now those sound compartments are pretty standard for every sound camera. So this is an old school bulky Super 8 Kodak sound camera as well. And you can see that it has that extra kind of magnetic component on the bottom bottom for the old school recording track. But again, these cartridges just slot in like normal and you just close the door and you're ready to go. And then we have the rear loading Super 8 camera. And these are pretty popular models as well. And they work just a little bit differently. As opposed to having the door on the side, they open up from behind with a little panel on the back here. These ones are a little bit different to load just because you can't make sure that your Super 8 film is sitting in there securely and nice and tight the way that it should be. But it is set up to be used really easily as well as all Super 8 cameras work. You just have to really make sure that you're moving that back compartment door out of the way. So then you can just slide in the cartridge of film and it will sit in there nice and securely. Then you can just close up the door and that really is just like the same for all rear loading cartridges. You just pop open the back door, the cartridge will slide in and out really easily and then you don't have to worry about anything at all. And it will sit in there properly and you're ready to go and just start shooting your film. So I hope that has kind of cleared up any sort of initial questions that you might have when you have your camera, you have your film, and you're just looking to get them together and start shooting that Super 8 footage and not have to freak out and worry every time you run the camera that maybe something's not sitting properly or maybe your film's not moving right or any of those little worries that you might have when you're tackling a new format for the first time. Hey, thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't done so already as I continue to tackle all this analog stuff all the time with new videos about gear and how to use these cameras and getting into these crazy formats that maybe you just don't know too much about. There is a link down below to the Analog Resurgence Patreon in case anybody is interested in supporting the channel. You can hop over there and see what that's all about and that support will just allow me to do much more of this stuff in the future going forward. You can comment down below based on what you guys want to see in the future or see more of that I've already talked about or just have more questions about as well. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm doing the Patreon shoutouts to all the amazing people over on the Patreon who have helped to support the channel over the last little bit. We have Carson Fuller, Andrew Snyder, Audrey Ratzvedicus, Keyendor, Chaz Alling, Bearded, Ben MacArthur, Julia, Abby Henderson, Futigu, Nakia Jones, and Ramblings from Canada. I also have a special shout out to two of the patrons who have added just a little bit of extra support over on the Patreon who have their credits printed on slide film. So we've got Andrew Snyder and Carson Fuller. So a special thank you to them for just their added extra support over on the Patreon.